All right, to get to Microsoft Office, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Start button, then All Programs, then you're going to scroll to from, so you're going to come up here, and then you're going to scroll down to Microsoft Office, click on Microsoft Office, and then click on Microsoft Excel. Once Microsoft Excel opens, you're going to look at you're going to look at a sheet a page that looks like this. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is let's take for example you're going to um, do a chart for diameter versus circumference. So here you put diameter, and let's say you did all your measurements in centimeters, and in the column B you're going to put circumference, and it two is in measured in centimeters. Now if you want to widen a uh, thing all you do is you hover your mouse right over the crack between the columns and then you can and you get a little thing that looks like that and you can slide back and forth. Alright so now what I'm going to do is all my all my diameters are going to be put in column A. Now remember I am not going to type in um, all of the units because the units are specified in the top of the column. Now if you notice here this 5 is not identifying what the um, or the 15 are not showing those extra units. So what you're going to do is select that whole column and then come over here to um, the little arrow here that says the zeros. All right, that shut closed them down and that opens them up. Now in circumference, I'm going to type in my circumference values that I measured. Now if you'll notice I don't have there they don't have to be in the precise order or anything else. All right, so now I'm going to select all of my information by just putting my mouse over the over the A1 and then hold the mouse down and drag it down to the 47. All right, then you go over here to insert and it says chart scatter. Okay? I'm going to select scatter and I want markers only okay and I get a a chart that looks like this alright now from here I can go oops I noticed I had an error here this should be 31.80 alright so from here I've got a nice chart that has my things. But the important thing here is I need to be able to, to put in a trend line. So I, I make sure I've got this item highlighted and you can see here I can change my chart type, I can move the chart, I can change the chart layouts. So it looks like that. You can do it with no axes, just the prime ones with data. I'm going to choose this one because I like having both my X and Y. Actually, I don't want that one because I do not want my linear here. Um, but I can go back and forth and, and try various points. There we go. We want th that one. Then we can click here. We can change the we can change the axis title. So that would be sir. Oops. Circumference centimeters. Here, I can double click on that. Oops, if you double click, you can change things. But if you just want to change the title, then you put diameter in centimeters. And then I, what I want though is I want to add a trend line. Okay? And the best way to add a trend line. is you go to chart tools layout and where it says trend line. Now you see there's none, linear, exponential, 
linear forecast, two periods moving average. Okay, more trend line options. Now, this looks like a straight line, so I'm going to use a linear trend line. All right. Now, I can format, oops, layout, more trend line options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add I'm going to, my equation and my R squared value. Okay? So you go to, to do that, you go to more, you go to, f go to layout, trend line, more trend line options. Now, if you look here, I now have an equation that is y squared, y equals 3.14194 with minus, and I have an r squared value, which is the coefficient of determination of 0.9997, which means that my equation for uh, the line is c equals pi times d, and if you look here, 3.14159, that, that x right there is the same as the, the slope is the same as the value for pi, and my, and my r squared value, 0.9997, means that it's very close, because the closer the r squared value is to 1, the better your value is.